gosh, who does not love gnomes? These two guys are hardworking garden gnomes that we're gonna put together in a tabletop tray display. And this is a garden gnome, uh, or a gnome garden, so with succulents, so you'll be able to um, play with it and change it up as you like. So you're gonna have this huge, well, I should say really skinny, but really long tray um, as is gonna be our uh, border for our uh, garden, a big bag of moss, three big tree uh, stumps, branches, a hefty bag of pebbles. Um, you're going to get the um, two different garden gnomes, so one with a shovel and one with a watering can. They're super cute, and they're, they're um, three-dimensional. They they're look good from all sides, so no matter where you put your, your display, it's going to look good. You're going to get this bag of ladybug stickers, um, and then which are dimensional, and then two succulents, the larger green and then sort of the medium red one. And we're going to make this fun garden or gnome garden, a succulent with succulent. So you get to mix it up and make it how you like. This is a fun project that kids could do too. Start off with your clean tray and let's get some of those rocks. We're not going to use the entire bag, but you want a thin layer of rocks in the, in the tray. And then we're also going to get some moss. And you start off with a little bit of moss, but the moss comes in big chunks and there's multiple colors in the bag. So you can just tear off hunks um, or whatever you like. You can make them really, you can pull it apart and make it very thin or you can have chunks of it. So just put in some. You're going to have a lot of moss left over for other projects. So you only need a little bit for this. And, and it's better to start off with less and then if you need to add more after we have all the elements in there, it's easier to add than it is to take away. Okay. So add a thin layer of rocks, add a little bit of moss here and there. And then the next thing we're gonna do is get those three tree stumps. And we're gonna um, kind of figure out where we want those to live. Now this, there is no right or wrong way to do this. It's your garden, you get to design it how you like. Um, take a look at your tree, your little um, bag of tree stumps. I don't know what to call these, I'm gonna call them stumps. <laughs> Logs. Log slices, logs, tree slices. I think there's, I think there's stumps. But anyway, um, see how my this one has an interesting pattern on it, um, and you have three different heights, and so you can choose to put them. And look at this one has, you can see all the rings. Um, and I think my other one has this interesting crack in the bark. So kind of arrange it how you like. You can nest them all together. You can stack them on top of each other. They could lay on their side if you wanted to. Um, really, just play with it. Like I say, it's your garden, and you get to make it how you like. The fun, th one of the fun things about this project is that you can change it up every day if you wanted to. Kind of like a elf on a shelf, you can play gnomes in the garden, <laughs> but we'll contain it to this garden. How about that? So after we have your three elements of the trees in there, let's go ahead and grab your succulents and just kind of gonna figure out where you want them and and really you're just setting them in there. I kind of hide the stem a little bit under some of the moss. So we have the big green one and then we also have this really interesting red one. And so stick that where you think you might like it. And like I say, you can change your mind and mix it up every day. So it's, it's totally up to you. And so one of the things I wanted to point out is without the gnomes, look at it right now. This is a beautiful project as is, and succulents are such a hot trend right now. So you could totally um, take the gnomes out at times and have a totally different look. Maybe you'll in the future move the gnomes to a different um, project, you know, or a different um, area of your home. Uh, but for now, let's make this a gnome succulent. So pick out one of your gnomes and we'll make them a little home to nestle down in there. And you want to um, kind of move, move away some of the rock and moss and, and stuff to be able to get him to sit flat on the bottom of the tray. And then grab your other gnome and figure out where you want him to live. Now, um, if you wanted to kind of change it up and get some height, he certainly could stand on top of one of the logs, I think. You can see how that looks if you want to do it. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and nestle him down into the tray. And um, you need to take some of the moss I have in there and tear it apart and tuck it on the inside, kind of tucking them in. If you didn't have enough moss, you could always get more from your bag. You have plenty. 
so yeah just kind of arrange them around this this is your garden you get to play with it how you want um, maybe you'll have um, only one tree stump in there if you'd rather um, you don't have to use every single bit of every element you can change it up your gnomes could be side by side you could use just one of them or none but all together this is a very trendy look um, so right now the last little bit of of this project is a little embellishment these are dimensional ladybugs and the little white dot on their belly is a dimensional adhesive so um, that's how they're gonna stick to wherever you want so each one has a little piece of paper you'll peel off the paper off of the dimensional sticky and to expose the adhesive and then you can just stick it where you want so you can put them on the tree um, on the tree stumps, uh, you can put on the succulent, you can put on the tray itself, whatever you want. And you're going to have loads of these little ladybugs, so you could um, definitely um, plan some future projects with more ladybugs. But they are definitely a fun addition and add, add some pop of color. So see, I'm even putting them on the succulent on the side of the of the log there. So he's kind of climbing up. Um, you could put him on the gnome hat if you wanted to. I think this gnome looks like he's holding his hand out. So I'm going to have him hold a little, like he's caught a little friend. That's pretty cute. And if you need some symmetry, I suppose you could put one on the other side. Maybe we'll put one on the tray. And maybe one on the uh, last, on the third log there. This project is so fun and easy to throw together. Um, a fun project for kids to do as well. I think I'm going to put a second ladybug by that first one so I can have a little pair of love bugs. Oh, see, that is cute. <laughs> this is a fun project. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and like I said, you can mix it up and play with it and change it any day that you want. Thank you for joining me today.